14. Hi, Walter. Ooh. Uh, 114. 115. Practicing for the farm games this afternoon. Wait, exercise can't get enough. Mad for it, I am. And a one. You need to be careful, Walter. Exercise is good, but in moderation. Not for someone at their peak. Mm, not bad. But don't you think they're a bit light? I suppose my arms are pretty strong from working on the... Walter? Yeah? What about number two? Shouldn't you be on number two by now? No. One's enough, Stan. No point overdoing it. Now, are you after some diesel? Well, it couldn't be simpler. You set your speed here, you switch it on. Here and presto! Excellent, excellent. I told Water and Stumpy that I was fitter than both of them, and now <laughs> I shall be. Can I have a go? Be my guest. However, as an expert in the field of human fitness, I would heartily recommend that. Wouldn't it? You read the instructions first. <laughs> Hello, Stan. All ready for the games this afternoon? Yes, I think so. Hello. What's that? Ah, oh, yes, this is the new and improved walking machine. An easy way to exercise without moving from the spot. Is it safe? Oh, quite safe. So. To understand health, one has to understand safety too. This new machine gives an all-over workout that is gentle and easy to use. I can see that. Ah, splendid. You are right, Mr Turvey. Excellent exercise. Are you OK? Take it from me, Stan. A few brisk miles on one of these really gets the muscles moving. <laughs> I think one or two people may be taking these farm games far too seriously. Hello? Oh, hello, stop. What, again? OK, I'm on my way with Little Red Tractor. Another one of those old dead trees has fallen and blocked the lane through Heron Wood. I'd better go and move it. Oh, how embarrassing. I can't believe I made such a complete fool of myself. Oh, no harm done. These things take a bit of getting used to. <laughs> I remember once I... I know. I'll get to Heronwood first and show Stan some real muscle. Come on, Big Blue. We can get there first. I know a shortcut. Wow! It looks great, Mum. Yes, I think we've all done very well. Mum! Amy! Watch me! <laughs> Well, that wasn't very good. I bet you couldn't do any better. I could. Now, now. It's bad enough that the grown-ups are being so competitive without you starting as well. Hello, Elsie. What's all that? I thought I'd bring my old nurse's things along. Oh, you know what they're all like. Ah, there it is. Oh, you got here first. I came by the shortcut. Me too. Maybe Little Red Tractor is a little faster. Faster? Oh, no, Stan. I don't think so. <laughs> now, let me see. It seems to me this job might need a bigger, stronger tractor, Stan. Do you mind? Be my guest. It's a matter of muscle, you see, Stan. Big Blue here was made for these big jobs. Oh, I don't know. Little Red Tractor is stronger than he looks. <laughs> Perhaps we should have a contest one of these days and see which tractor really is the strongest. Maybe we shall, Mr Jones. Although, I must say, you have done a good job there. It's all about teamwork. A man and his tractor in perfect harmony. Well done, Big Blue. Hey, it'll be time for the farm game soon. We better not be late. You know how Mr. Turvey likes everything to run on time? True! We'll see you there, and may the best men win. <laughs> OK, Amy, Ryan, you are to be my special helpers for the farm games, and I shall be a referee. We need to see fair play and keep everything organised and flowing smoothly. Understood? Yes, yes Dad. Dad! Oh, not Dad today. Today I am a referee. Are we ready for the first event? First event? Throwing the Wellington boot. Good, let's get to it. Competitors, first event is throwing the boot. The competitor stands up here and on the sound of my whistle, throws the boot as far as he can. Clear? Ryan shall measure the distance and the player who throws the boot furthest wins. Number one, please. Three, two, one. <laughs> 
14 metres exactly. Three, two, one. Hey, <laughs> I threw it so far I can't even see it. That's because you threw it the wrong way. Huh? <laughs> oh. Well, I think this means you are disqualified, Walter. OK, Stumpy. Stan's leading. Three, two, one. <whistles> You're supposed to let go of the boot, Stumpy. One and a half metres. <laughs> Am I winning? Hardly. Now move along and make way for an expert. Oh, splendid. 13 metres and 80 centimetres. Second place. Test your strength is event two. First challenger, Stumpy. Stand clear. <laughs> Maximum score for Stumpy. Oh, oh. oh, I don't know my own strength. I think I might have hurt my arm, though. Well, pop along and see Elsie. She'll have a look at it for you. Second challenger, a Walter. Walter, you need a good score here after your poor performance in the boot throwing. Stand back, then. <laughs> Muscles is my middle name. Yeah, no! oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Mr. Jones, you're next. You are currently running in second place. Not for long. <laughs> See when? When you're ready. Here we go then. <laughs> oh dear. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh... Look at you. This was supposed to be farm games. I think we should have stuck to a nice, safe board game. We still have one event to go, the tug of war. We can't very well do it now, can we? I think we'll have to cancel the games. We can't do that. The show must go on and all that. How? There is only you and me left. Wait. What about we have the tug of war between Little Red Tractor and Big Blue? Then we can see which tractor really is the strongest. I don't see why not. Excellent, excellent. Well, Stan, are you up for the challenge? All right, you're on. <laughs> Start your engines. But do not start pulling until I give the signal. What did he say? Dad, do you want me to measure anything? Stand back, Ryan. Come on, Big Blue. That's the signal. It started, Little Red Tractor. Come on. You can do it. Ooh, nearly. Come on, Big Blue, we've got them. Full power! Oh, no. We're sinking. They're too heavy. We'll have to ease off the power. Come on, Little Red Tractor. One big pull and we can do it. I can't get full power without us sinking into the mud. One last effort. Little Red Tractor is the winner! Well yeah, well done, Little Red Tractor! Well done, Little Red Tractor. I don't know how you did it, but I'm very proud of you. I am proud to announce that the winner of the farm games is... Little Red Tractor! Oh, well of course, we could have won, but for Big Blue's tyres getting stuck in the mud... Oh, but you won fair and square. <laughs> well done. Thank you. It's like we always say, you don't have to be the biggest to be the best. Eh, hey, Little Red Tractor? I don't think we're going to see a better day for harvesting Top Acre Field, Little Red Tractor. Back a bit. A little bit more. Whoa! That's it. Mr Jones said we could borrow Harvey when we were ready, so why don't we go over and fetch him?
Hello. What are you two up to? We're going blackberry picking. And we were hoping we could pick some berries off your bushes. Of course you can. I won't have time to do it. I'm off to Beach Farm to see if I can borrow Mr Jones's combine to do some harvesting. Oh, can we come? I thought you were on your way to pick some berries. We'd much rather come with you. OK. Hop in and hold on tight. We're not moving. You haven't said the special words. Come on, little red tractor. Let's go! But, but I've, I've never done it before. I'm telling you, there's nothing to it. Oh, do I have to? Yes, you do. My normal chap is sick, and so you have to drive Big Blue here while I drive Harvey. I promise you, Stumpy, it's easy. Just like driving Nipper, really. Yeah, but I keep falling off, Nipper. Ah, uh, yes, you do, don't you? Well, there's nothing else for it. We'll just have to do the best we can. And I'll hop aboard now. No telling me off if I get it wrong, though. <laughs> no, of course not. Let's move along now. Morning, all. Yes, quite. Um, we're in a bit of a rush. Harvesting to do, you see. Oh, that's torn it. I was hoping I might be able to borrow Harvey to harvest Top Acre Field. No can do, I'm afraid. I'm just about to go. Uh, you can use him tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's fine with me. Thanks, Mr Jones. You can come berry picking with us, Stan. Oh, yes. Come with us. Oh, go on, Stan. You know, I think I will. Great! Um, you weren't planning on picking berries from my bushes, were you? No, of course not. We have plenty back at Gosling Farm. Only I have plans for them, you see. Homemade blackberry pie. Must get on. Right. Let's go and find some berries. Yeah! <laughs> Forwards, Big Blue. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of it now. <laughs> no, steady there. Oh, mind that tree. What's this button do? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> well, I think I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> This should do it. A perfect spot for perfect blackberries. Wow! You're right. There are loads of berries here. Bet I can pick more than you. But I can beat you both. Get in our hobby as yeah, straight as we can. Not too quick. At last, Stumpy seems to be getting the hang of it. Poor Big Blue will never forgive me. <laughs> oh, this is the life, eh? I can't reach! I think Little Red Tractor may be able to help you there. Just a minute. Hop in the trailer and hold on tight. Thanks, Little Red Tractor. Thanks, Stan. Well done, Stumpy. We'll make a farmer out of you yet. <laughs> I'll stick to my windmill if you don't mind, although I have enjoyed helping you. I think we can head back now. And uh, be careful turning around. No problem. I'm getting the hang of it now. Uh-oh! Oh, no! Catch it quick! Oh, I'll never catch it. I've only got little legs. In big blue, you cannot! Oh, yes. That would be quicker, wouldn't it? Oh, no. Which lever is it? 
Dad, let me do it. That bale would be halfway to Babblebrook by now. Will you let go? I'm trying to get out. And I'm trying to get in. You said you wouldn't tell me off. I am not t telling you off. You get out that side, and I'll get in this side. I'm nearly finished, too. Just let me guess a couple more. Ooh, you don't see one of those very often. One of what? A rolling thing with no driver. Dad, that's a straw bale. If it hits anything, it could cause a lot of damage. I'll get Sparky. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, don't panic. Um, it's a rolling thing. Uh, uh, oh, dear. Have you seen a straw bale coming this way? It just went past. That way. I'm trying to catch it. I'll leave you to it, then. Good luck. Call me if you need a hand. I don't know what you're complaining about. You're not the only one who's been left on their own. I think we picked them all. Maybe there's some more further on up. Well, the baskets are full, so why don't we take these back first? <laughs> Quick, get behind Little Red Tractor. Phew, that was close. Thanks, Little Red Tractor. That was too close for comfort. Are you OK? Where did that come from? Oh, look, our blackberries are squashed. Don't worry about the berries, Amy. It could have been us, but for Little Red Tractor here. Oh, thank goodness you're all safe. I was worried sick. Is this yours? I, I'm afraid it is. We had a slight accident. What about our blackberries? They're all squashed. Ah, uh, yes, I see. Um, perhaps I could make it up to you. Why don't you all come back to Beach Farm and we can all pick some berries from my bushes? Well, that's very kind. Excellent. No harm done, then. And how's your little tractor? Little Red Tractor saved us. He's fine. He may not be the biggest, but he's as strong as an ox. 